Hey guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com and today I have a quick review of the Advantage 1500 from Red Light Rising. Now we'll be doing a deep dive review on this exact panel uh, very soon actually, so be sure to subscribe for that. Um, in the meantime though, I wanted to give you a quick rundown. So this panel is the new Advantage range from Red, Red Light Rising. They have been in the Red Light Therapy space for a few years now, based in the UK, but they sell um, their panels all across the world. Founded by a bunch of biohackers and guys that are very passionate about their health and wellness and also red light therapy. The cool thing is you can head, head over to their website redlightrising.co.uk and jump on a free 20 minute call with them which is which is cool. Um, you can do that whether you, you get a panel or not um, and learn a bit, more, a bit more about red light therapy and of course the products they're selling. But back to this panel. So in 2019 I featured, well I included the red light rising full stack in my comparison series and their panel actually placed third. It was more of a basic budget uh, panel, you know, no bells and whistles, but it did did a pretty good job from a performance performance point of view. This new Advantage is a new and improved range. It has a few new features such as modular capability, an inbuilt timer, um, and improved internals. Red Light Rising have claimed that this is the most powerful panel on the market. Now, I've tested it and I can tell you now that that claim does not hold water because I have I've tested it with my spectrometer, EMF meter, a bunch of other meters and yeah the numbers were good, yes they were good but it definitely wasn't the most powerful panel I've tested which is a bit of a bummer. However there were some really good things. So this particular panel, the Advantage 1500 has 500 LEDs, they're 503 watt LEDs hence the 1500. You can get a slightly smaller one, the Advantage 900 which has 300 LEDs or you can go totally down the other end of the spectrum and get the Advantage XL which is 1600 LEDs. Yes, that is correct, massive huh? You have two wavelengths, 660 and 850 so you don't get multi-wave design. There's no app function or anything like that. The control panel, yes it works and does everything you'd expect from a control panel and a red light therapy panel, but um, it, it doesn't do anything other than that. Not that that's a bad thing, but you know, in today's age you can see all sorts of bells and whistles out there. Um, it is large, uh, 44 inches tall, 1.12 meters tall. Uh, obviously 500 LEDs, you've got to pack them in there. Those LEDs, speaking of packed in there, are packed in. It is a, it is quite concentrated because the LEDs on here use a smaller bulb, so you can get more LEDs in a tighter space. What that does mean, though, is in my testing, there are no hot spots. You get a nice balanced uh, irradiance across the panel, and I noticed that with my spectrometer and also in some hot pot, hot spot testing. So that's good. It means no matter where you are, you you know pretty much exactly what you're getting. Some other panels don't do that. There's some massive peaks and drops. So that was good. But like I said, the power readings were, were down. I really expected some good things given the claims that Red Light Rising had made and given that those LEDs are packed in nice and tight. But yeah, it was a bit of a disappointment. Now this panel sells for nearly 3,000 US dollars. Well, $2,667 after you use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, that will save you 5%. So maybe I should say it sells for a bit more than two and a half grand. Still a big chunk of money, uh, especially for something that doesn't have all those advanced features or multi-wavelengths or pulsing or a fancy timer or anything like that. Um, it's a big chunk of money. From a value point of view, when I compare this you know, to some other panels uh, on a dollar per LED or dollar per wattage output, um, it isn't doing very well. In fact, it's, it's one of the worst performing from a pure value point of view. I'll be putting all this data over at alexfergus.com in my uh, Red Light Therapy Buyer's Guide, so be sure to check that out. But most of all, be sure to check out my full review, which will be published soon, or maybe published already, by the, depending on when you're watching this. In summary though, what do I like and dislike about the Advantage 1500? First thing is the two wavelengths. I think with an elite premium panel like we have here um, from Red Light Rising, with this sort of price tag, I would like to see you know a couple more wavelengths thrown in there. There is plenty of science now showing that those wavelengths are beneficial, and most other companies are using multi wavelengths, uh, multi wavelengths in their panel design. So that is a bit of a leap down. And secondly, the power. Um, you know, reading those claims and seeing the price, I thought, hey, this is going to be a really powerful panel, but. The numbers were on the lower side, and yeah, to be honest, it's it's a real big letdown. And thirdly, that brings in price. Uh, you're paying a lot of money for something that isn't super powerful and doesn't have all the bells and whistles. You could go out and buy like a Mito Mod or a Mito Pro or a Biomax or um, a Light Path LED panel. Sure, you're only getting half the amount of LEDs, you know, 200, 300 LEDs. 
but you can get two of them and you're probably still saving money compared to what you would buy or what you'd spend buying one of these. Uh, so that is a bit of, bit of a blow. On the upside though, there are a, cool, a couple of good things I want to mention. Firstly, you can get that free call with the founders. That's that's awesome. I mean, 20 minutes with a, with someone who lives and breathes red light therapy and biohacking, that's, you know, that's probably worth, you know, 50 bucks easy, $100. So take advantage of that. Secondly, the new Advantage panels all have five-year warranty, which is unheard of in the red light therapy space. I believe all other companies are two, maybe three years. Uh, I don't know if there's anyone above three years. So well done to Red Light Rising there, and that is nice to know. Um, you know, if if you want, if you are spending a lot of money, you know you've got coverage for a couple of years. So good job there. Thirdly, the design and the color is nice. I think it does look good. You know, the black with the smaller LED bulbs, it does look good on the wall. Uh, whether you're hanging it or leaning it against the wall like I am at the moment. And finally, you do get that consistent blend of light. It's probably the best performing, or at least out of all the panels I've tested recently, it's probably the best performing in terms, terms of consistent power output right across the panel. There's no hot spots or anything like that. So that is a massive plus as well. To wrap it up though, if you do want to get one of these panels, head over to redlightrising.co.uk, enter code Alex, A-L-E-X, that will save you 5%. Uh, but be sure to subscribe and check out my full review, which will be out on my YouTube channel soon. I'll also be doing more testing and more comparisons, unboxing, first impressions, and other full deep dive reviews on red light therapy panels and other products I should mention here at alexfigures.com and uh, on my YouTube, cha YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe. All right, that's all for now. I'll see you later.